Hi, it is Marie, and I'm back again today with another video. And uh, today I wanted to talk about my eyes. Um, I have a condition called nystagmus, um, which makes my eyes shake. Uh, and I also have, or I also was born cross-eyed. Um, and so I'll just take those both one at a time, starting with the nystagmus. Um, my nystagmus is is mild, so. Um, if you're looking at me just naturally, you're not going to see my eye shake. However, um, with the equipment that the eye doctors have, um, they can see my eye shaking. It's subtle, but it's there. Um, and it does impact me, um, especially academically. I still have a difficult time reading. Um, you know, if you give me a page of words, I, from first glance, I won't be able to tell you what any of the words say. I really just have to, to focus in um, and to concentrate. I have to squint and then I'll be able to tell you what it all says. Um, I also have been impacted uh, mathematically because uh, I had a very difficult time just even doing simple addition. Um, you know, writing everything down, lining it all up. Um, and because of that, I think in the early days, because I had trouble with it, um, I had a difficult time um, because I had to play catch up. Um, and I think that's kind of um, depleted my math skills and it didn't give me a chance to build a very, very good foundation. Uh, and it kind of set me behind on everything else I had to do mathematically um you know math especially you have to build on your skills and if you're um playing catch up uh it's kind of difficult to catch up um and so that's where i am today i still have trouble with math um but you know now i kind of i kind of at least have a notion of as to why uh it's not that i'm saying it's an excuse um, but there's reasoning behind it. Um, anyways, um, my uh, being born cross-eyed, um, when I was two years old, um, I went in uh, and I had corrective surgery to uh, loosen up the muscles in my eyes. Um, so that got all loosened. Um, but unfortunately, um, and subsequently, I had a lazy eye. My left eye became too loose, uh, and so it kind of wandered around and floated. Um, and so when I was nine years old, they went back in, they tightened that back up, uh, and, uh, I got my peripheral vision back because of that surgery. Um, and I still have a tendency to have a lazy eye when I get tired, when I'm distracted, or when I'm not concentrating. Sometimes it wanders off, um, but for the most part, it, it stays pretty good in its place. Um, now, I, I can't say my nystagmus um, and my being born cross-eyed, I believe the medical term is strabemus. Um, I can't say that those are certainly linked to cerebral palsy without a doubt, um, because I don't know, I don't know for sure. Um, you know, every case of cerebral palsy is different, um, and with the research I've looked at, um, it shows that there is a pretty high correlation between individuals with cerebral palsy, uh, having nystagmus or especially being born cross-eyed um, and you know there's some common sense that goes into that but again I, I, I can't link it all back to cerebral palsy I can't rule out any other alternative causes um, because every case is different um, but you know that's that's where I am um, is there a possibility that is linked to my cerebral palsy? Yes, it's probably a very high possibility. Again, because the correlation is there. Um, but I can't say cerebral palsy is the direct cause um, of my two conditions. 
Um, and so that's all I got for the, today. Uh, if you want to, leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions or just anything, um, any wisdom, go ahead and leave that down below. Bye, and I will see you in the next video.